The scene at Saybrook Point looking less like a resort getaway Friday morning and more like trouble in paradise. It's pretty bad. I lived in central Connecticut, so not along the water, so I haven't really experienced it before. The impacts of Elsa hard to ignore for Anthony Cerny and his wife who live on their boat docked at Harbor One Marina. It's rocking and rolling on the boat for sure. And we're just sort of riding it out, put some extra fenders out and double tied everything. The name of Anthony's boat, Keep Calm. But Elsa not listening as she delivered a soaking downpour and whipping winds that were no match for any umbrella and kept other boats rocking all morning long. And you know, I've seen a lot, a lot worse here. This is an early season storm. Captain Tom Kellenbach was Sito standing by and ready to respond to any issues once things cleared up. We anticipate possibly some boats that might be sunk at the dock from you know uh, bilge pumps and low batteries, uh, the amount of rain that we have. Possibly some boats that might have flipped over, broken off their moorings from the winds and the waves. This relentless rain also causing some minor flooding in some areas as well. So right now we are just off of Ridge Road. And as you can see, a pretty large pool of water has formed in this yard. And if you take a look at my boots, the water coming up just below that boot line. Overall, Old Saybrook Police Chief Michael Sparrow says the town fared well during the storm. We've seen some sporadic power outages. We've seen some uh, localized flooding. A couple of trees have fallen, but again, nothing major. Everything that we were expecting. But it was not the first day vacation Chris Robinson and his nephew Riley were expecting, both here from Texas. I wanted some sunshine tomorrow to go swimming in the beach. By noon, Riley's wish started coming true with the dark clouds finally starting to break and some sunshine making a comeback. Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News.